I'm gonna take you through our Northwest Haze Creative Color Grading Pack. We made these 3D LUT profiles based on inspiration from the Pacific Northwest. Now, what does that mean? Pacific Northwest, it's constantly raining, constantly overcast. The sky acts like a huge softbox over everything, creating a diffused lighting situation. We've got huge forests. They're completely green, covered in moss, highly saturated. And there's a ton of mist and mood and depth. So we've used that inspiration to create a wide range of looks in our profiles. And I'm gonna be looking at them in Adobe Camera Raw. So let's open up the first image and take a look. So as you can see, I've got Adobe Color in my favorites, which is the base profile. So you can always see the before. And below you can see the entire look of Northwest Haze all laid out here in thumbnails. So you can see visually what's going on. Right off, I'm gonna go into the first one, Hemlock, and this is based on uh, lifted blacks, somewhat desaturated greens, and uh, we've got all these variants based on that. So I can click on that and mouse over Adobe Color to always see my before just to see the change, which I find is really helpful. But using the arrow keys, I'm gonna start checking out our variants. Ponderosa, really cool pushing blues into the shadows. Willow is much more uh, relaxed and it's pushing all the greens in the image more toward blue. Sequoia is putting some warmth into the shadows. Honey Locust is starting to change the color even more, pushing it more toward orange and everything's has this nice mustardy quality of the shift of the greens. Tamarack even more so, starting to introduce more of a split tone based on Honey Locust. Juniper, we're starting to get some really wild variations. Those greens are getting pushed all the way into the purple range. And with Dogwood, introducing purple into the shadows, and that creates a lot more of that hue across the entire frame. Hawthorne is getting into some really cool stuff. We're targeting those hot greens, moving them all the way around the color wheel into red. And Finally, Doug Fir, which is really my favorite out of these because it's pushing purple into the shadows, preserving those reds in the hot greens. Now we're making all these really dramatic hue shifts in the image based on hue and based on tonality. So what I wanna do is zoom in and show you that even though we're making really huge changes, because of the way that we're targeting hues, we're protecting the model's skin and wardrobe so that those hues are not shifted. But in addition to that, since we're targeting tonally the dark areas and introducing purple in, into those areas, those are coming into the model too, which is creating that integration across the entire frame. So I like this. I'm gonna call this my choice and I'm gonna hit enter, open object, and go into Photoshop and continue editing if I want to. I'm gonna move on to my next image, which is very different. So you can see how these work very differently, but that's the great thing about this browser. It's, it's so simple. You can just cruise through and see a lot of different looks immediately just by clicking through with the arrow keys. I'm gonna back up to Juniper because I like that. So if I like that, I can call that done right there. But one of the incredible things about working in this way is I still have access to all the raw information in that photograph, and I'm working in raw so I have access to all the controls in camera raw. So I can make additional tweaks to enhance uh, this look, mellow it out, um, even shift it into a different hue range. So I'm gonna do some tweaks, show you how powerful this really is. So I wanna retrieve some of the lost information in the mist, which I think is a really good move because it's gonna enhance that feeling of depth if I can see these trees way back in here. That's cool. I'm gonna bump up the clarity. Just want a little bit more punch. And this purple is an effect that's being applied only to the green hues. So back here, we're reading this as green, but it's actually neutral. What I can do to expand that purple is actually push more of those hues into the green range and watch that spread across the image. It's even introducing some actual green hues up here in the trees. 
So you can see that was just a couple little tweaks and I was able to change the image in a really big way. You can see how these tools, in addition to the looks, can be used for an incredible range of expression. Mm -hmm.